Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I pray that today finds you well. To all of my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome. Hit that red button to subscribe and jump over to that notification bell and tap it because it's going to let you know when I'm uploading new videos. Praise God. I pray that God will continue to bless you and keep you. And I pray that God's face will forever shine upon you. But let's get into what God has spoken in my heart to tell the people today. God said you are breaking generational curses. Hallelujah. You have been anointed as the curse breaker in your family. You are expecting Experiencing so much warfare because you are anointed to deliver. Today, God wants you to know, to take a look at your lives and what you carry around, either physically, internally, or metaphorically, because it's going to reveal a lot about who you are and the impact this baggage can have on your relationships and your entire life. Do a self-reflection on the inside. God said, do it because he has called you to break generational curses in your family. The Lord said you will not create the same conditions in your own home that you grew up in. You will not create the same conditions in your own home that you grew up in, family. You get to decide, God said, if the generational curse continues or if this generational curse end with you, hallelujah, you have freedom and you have liberty, you have self-will, but God has anointed you to break generational curses in your family today. Your family history has affected your life long enough, God said. You are not bound by these generational curses, says the Lord. You have identified the curse by its origin, God said. God said, because you have identified the origin of the curse, it can no longer affect your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. You have the choice, family, to continue in the footsteps of those that are in your bloodline and pass these curses on to your children. But I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, these curses, glory to God, are ending over your life and your entire future today. God has anointed you to be the curse breaker in your family. You saw your parents develop unhealthy relationships and pass them right down to you, but no more more in the name of Yeshua today. No more divorce in your bloodline. No more, God said. No more lack in your life. No more. No more poverty. No more unhealthy relationships in the name of Jesus Christ. God said you will not have a fear of commitment because you saw the dysfunction in your own home with your parents or in the household that you grew up in. Glory be to God. You will not pass the down this pain and the trauma that you've experienced as a child to your own children. I decree and declare that it stops with you in the name of Yeshua. Today, family, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, and not next year. Today, you break free. No longer bound. No more chains holding you hostage. Nothing holding you down where you can't move and progress in your life and be successful. No more in and out. You break free today, and you will remain free. You're not going to be free today, and you're going to find yourself in Egypt tomorrow. Today, you break free and you will remain free and so will those that love that you love and the generations that will follow you they will remain free and God said it's because he has anointed you to be the generational curse breaker Glory to God. God said that he has anointed you to break these generation of curses and you are going to convert every last one of them into generation of blessings. You are going to leave a legacy to your children, to your children's children. You have been called, glory to God, to leave a legacy of wealth to your children. Glory to God. Why don't you type it in the comments today that I am a curse breaker. Glory to God. I am a curse breaker 
breaker. I am a generational curse breaker. No more debt in my bloodline. No more divorce in my bloodline. No more lack. No more insufficiency in my bloodline. Another day in your life. God has anointed you to be a curse breaker. You are anointed to break generational curses in the name of Jesus Christ. Be excited about it. Don't despise the warfare. Embrace the warfare because God has delivered you to deliver somebody else. Embrace the warfare. Glory to God. You have been anointed to break these generational curses. God bless you. I love you. Say encouraged in the Lord. Lay before the Lord in your fasting and in your prayer. Because God has heard your cry and God has heard your supplications. Oh, I am excited about this word today. You are a curse breaker. You powerful. You mighty and the devil knows it. Glory to God. He doesn't want you to know it. But today you realize who you are in Christ Jesus. Speak the word. Hallelujah. Speak those things that be not as if they already were. Prophesy over your situation. Prophesy over your home. Hold your wallet up. Hold your purse up. Glory to God. And prophesy. Prophesy to your bank account. Prophesy to your mind. Lay hands on your head and begin to prophesy. Prophesy to your children. If they're not with you, glory to God. Speak their name in that atmosphere. Glory to God. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. Curse breaker. Hallelujah. I'm excited for you. Give me the testimonies when they come in. God bless you. Till next time.